Good morning, all you beautiful, lovely people out there. How are you? Got it's, my uh... tea. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. <laughs> How is that? Very, very tea filled. Very tea filled. Very tea filled. How's your morning been? So good. My husband made me some tea, um, and I got ready, and I look beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Forever and always. For asking. Um, and I ordered some stuff on Amazon with some gift cards, and I. Thank you to those who sent us the gift cards. Thank you. That's all about. And I. There that's, you go. That's my morning. Yeah. What, what did you do? Thank you for asking. Uh, Maybe I <laughs> made tea this morning. I did some cleaning around the house. I did laundry this morning, which was great. A real man. Um, and then did a whole bunch of errands, um, basically email stuff. I emailed a bunch of people this morning about summer plans. Yeah. So, and I'm just waiting to hear back from them. But yeah. So get back to us. And what are we going to do today? We are going to paint our furniture in our room. Yeah, we decided to make it a two-day project. So, yeah. <laughs> As is evidence when we, in our first video, we're like, it's painting day, and then there's no painting. Actually, what, happens. like a four-day project. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be a project. But... It'll be a project. Before that, though, we're going to run to the oh, university. Okay. We're going to go pick up mail, and we're going to go talk to Joseph. Joseph Walker, Walker, who is my financial aid advisor, and give him this. It's a marriage license. Which is a marriage license, if you can't tell. A giant white envelope is a marriage license. So then he knows that we're married, so then we can get a funding for being married. Because when, cause when you get married, us. when you get married, you, you get money. Let's go. Remember? Okay, story time. Um, if you are a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, then you are familiar with FSY. Um, for the strength of youth. Right, activities that are happening during the summer for the youth. So they are going all over the place to have like a week intensive gospel long study with counselors. Many, and this is offered for high school students, many of our friends, college students, mm -hmm. are serving as counselors right now. So we've been following them and their stories. Um, and it's been really fun and really exciting. And then we forgot that SVU, Southern Virginia University, is one of the, the like, like hosts yeah. is one of the host sites um, of FSY. And so every week there is a new batch of students who show up for S FSY. So it's Monday morning and they're out, they're unpacking. And I just found out like a couple of days ago that my sister Amber um, flew from Texas to be up here for FSY this week. So she's somewhere on campus, but I don't know She's where. She's here! <laughs> um, we gotta find her! So I'm really excited to see my sister Amber, um, who is 16 years old, I believe. They keep growing up and that makes it hard. But she's beautiful, wonderful, and amazing. And we will find her and we will interview her and we will have a great time. But it's just really excited to see them all unpacking. Like, oh, I remember when we went to EFY? I never went to EFY. <gasps> I know. I know. Really? I never went to EFY. But you're the kind of person who would love that. I know. I'm supposed to pay for everything myself, and uh, I, I spent all my money on doing theater instead of going to EFY. This kid. Hey, I ran youth conferences. There you go. So she was. So she didn't participate in EFY, but she ran youth conference, ladies and gentlemen. I did. That's the most gracious thing you could have possibly. As a curse, you world! We were talking. It'd be funny if they were closed today because of Juneteenth. Sorry, Gracious, they're closed. For the record, we are big supporters of Juneteenth, but mail. <laughs> I know, I'm all about loving and supporting people, but I need my mail! Mail! All right, enjoy your vacation day, you male people and female male people. There it goes. this and we're gonna be um, hey i'm joking i kid i kid uh everything is closed also 
also apparently only Sarah Christopherson works here. Yeah, oh, I think you got. Oh, he has a new office. What? Amber, Madison? is that you? Amber? Amber? Hello? Are you here, Amber? No, Amber. It was the most ineffective trip to campus I've ever taken. <laughs> Usually there's at least like even like a fun person to say hi to. But now we get to move on with our day. Can we get folds in the Shot right? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hello, my dear. Lunch is done. Feeling full, ready to paint. Let's go. Ready to paint. Let's get changed. All right, let's go. Paint. <laughs> we did. We were extremely blessed and fortunate to have the help of our good friend Zach Shiraki help us paint. Say hi, Zach. Hi. This man uh, has got to go works for the dominoes. He's got to go work for the man. But we appreciate you and all your effort. Thanks. Look at how much he's done. I know. It's beautiful. It's, like whole... it's gorgeous. Okay, Zach. If you could say anything to the peeps at home, what would you say? Oh, man. Um, be happy. Yeah. yeah. Retweet. Have a good one, Zach. See you around, you too. So you see this J. I hear there's a story behind it. Yeah. yeah. So when I was about six or seven years old, um, we were living in El Paso, Texas at the time, and my younger sister, Clarissa, we were arguing about whose stuff belonged to who. Mm -hmm. And she was in my I room, and I didn't watch her, want her touching my stuff. So I went and grabbed a permanent marker and wrote a J on my dresser and like there all my go. other furniture that I had in the room to mark like, hey, this is Jared's, this is mine, don't touch it. Um, which made sense to my seven-year-old brain. And then mom walked in the room and I go, oh no, <laughs> I messed up. And so she was very confused to why I had drawn on her furniture. Um, How dare you? So I explained myself and she's like, that doesn't make any sense. So she like took me downstairs for time out. And as she's going downstairs, she looks and Clarissa has also gone and grabbed a marker and written C's all over the couch because she wanted the couch to be hers. Mm -hmm. And so we both got in time out that day. But yeah, that's why that J exists. I just wanted to tell the story before it got painted over. Goodbye, J. So much history there. So much. Officially two hours in. How are you feeling? I'm sick of this. We have like four more hours to go. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Because we want our house to look pretty. You're right, it's gonna look Because so we're obsessed pretty. with aesthetics. Aesthetics. Nap time. Good night, my dear. Sleep well. I will. Gracious is taking a quick nap right now. Um, so we're gonna let her be for a bit and we're gonna keep going. Um, just about everything has a coat, except this one. This guy right here, he doesn't have a coat on. Um, but everything has a coat of paint on right now. It looks really good. It looks really clean. And we're gonna go ahead and put a second coat on everything and uh, should look good. Woo -hoo. Let's go! <laughs> Little handles. They just look. Jenga. Jenga blocks. Yeah. That's what it is. Jared suggested just leaving them the way they were. Right, like a natural rustic wood. But the only thing that's a natural rustic wood? Oh, play Jenga with them. Just like pour. Pour the paint on. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. What are we listening to, Jared? Uh, we were listening to The King and I by Roger and Hammerstein. Yeah, Specifically, as I have recently learned, they are putting on a play for the king. 
about Uncle Tom's Cabin, but they don't understand the story. And so it's a version of Uncle Tom's Cabin that's never been told before. Yeah, have you ever read Uncle Tom's Cabin? I did. It was okay. an excellent book. Okay, because I, I just found this scene super funny because they, they focus on Eliza running away, which, like, is the smallest piece right. of the book. We did it! We're done! We're done! We painted basically all the furniture. Except for the items that can't be painted. Yeah. As we learned, as my Lego bookshelf is now falling apart. Yeah. But the outside looks great, and that's yeah. what matters. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think went well? Um, I think we were really fast at picking out a paint color. Yeah. Um, having it be the like one paint color that works for everything. Mm -hmm. It works, it looks good, it gets the job done. So I think that was really effective. That was really effective. And it looks amazing in the house. It does, no, it looks so nice with the walls and then like our the bedroom furniture too. The bedroom looks nice, the office looks nice. Yeah. yeah. Everything looks really, really good. Really happy about it. If you could go back and do it again, what would you do differently this time? I would probably, uh, figure out what furniture can actually be painted <laughs> and then paint the furniture that like you can effectively paint we just have furniture that doesn't uh, work very well with the paint that we picked out so maybe doing a little more research beforehand right would have been helpful agreed why was this project so important to us um I think we really value the importance of like a clean home and a nice home environment mm -hmm. and both of us are a little bit like uh, per, a little bit of perfectionists just just a tiny bit and so um having our home be a place where we like to be and where we enjoy our space is really important to us and having it look clean and having it look organized and having it look uniform mm -hmm. i think just really helps us to relax in our house i think so yeah well said thank you Thanks for painting with me. Of course, I love you. anytime, bestie. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Before you go, Gracious, what's our quote for the day? What's our quote for the day? We uh, have <clears throat> count it all joy. That's yes. fun. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Uh, be sure to catch us next week and have a great day. Bye. Jared, what did we just do? We just finished up painting. Say it one more time. I promise I know English. <laughs> would we do differently next time? No, that's my question. Okay. I just forgot. Yeah. I could go back and do it again. I wouldn't. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we just have furniture that doesn't. <coughs> oh, sorry, please. All right, back up like a sentence or two. Sorry. No, I just saw motorcycles and now I'm just thinking. Motorcycles are cool. Motorcycles. motorcycles. Why? Oh, wait till you're done, y'all. You're done. <laughs>